Welcome, welcome. Linking Google Search Console and Google Analytics unlocks two powerful reports. The Search Queries report, giving you data on the exact terms that users typed into the Google Search Engine to find your site, and the Google Organic Search Traffic report, which gives you data on the organic search landing pages. Use this data to see how users navigate your site after landing from specific searches. Are they finding what they need? If not, optimize content and user experience based on user journeys triggered by those queries. You can navigate to the landing page report under the engagement section and filter the report for organic traffic. Do that by clicking on add filter at the top here and for the dimension, select or type in channel grouping. We'll use the session default channel group. And then for match type, we'll select exactly matches, value, organic search, and click apply in the bottom left corner. In the data table, you have the landing pages in the left column. Take a look at what actions users are taking and how they're engaging with the landing page by looking at specific events that occur on the page. If you scroll over to the right, you'll see a column for event count. If you don't have this column, you can add it if you have the proper administrative privileges to customize the report. And with this column, you can filter the data table according to specific events. So we can filter this by scroll and we can see how many users for each landing page end up scrolling or performing some other type of event on that page. There's also a column for conversions. So you can also filter the table by conversions. Another great way to use these Google Search Console reports is to identify and fix technical SEO issues that might hinder visibility. These reports show the impact of these issues on user behavior in Google Analytics. If you go down to the data table, you can change the dimension to device category. This can help you identify issues with specific devices. For example, if engagement for one device category is much lower than another device category. Here we see the click-through rate is a bit higher for mobile than it is for desktop. But if we scroll over to the engagement rate, desktop engagement rate trumps engagement rate for mobile. But the average engagement time is about the same. Use this data to align your content and page experience to your SEO strategy. If you want to see how you can use AI to create content based on the opportunities found in your Google Search Console, take a look at this video linked on the screen or in the description. If you found this helpful, like the video and leave a comment. If you want to join the Growth Learner community to learn more about analytics and data, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next episode.